Welcome back. Let's solve a problem, a capital budgeting problem, using the appraisal technique called ARR, accounting rate or return, or average rate of return. Now, this ARR is a non-discounted cash flow method used for appraising projects under capital budgeting. And here, unlike payback period, we are not going to calculate the net cash inflow, the CFAT. Instead, we will look, we will calculate the accounting profits, the net earnings or the net profit. Now, let's look at this problem. A project will cost rupees 40,000. Its stream of earnings before depreciation, interest and taxes, EBDIT. There's a mistake here. It has to be earnings, EBDIT, all right, and not EDBIT. During the first year through five years, it's expected to be 10,000, 12,000, 14,000, 16,000, and 20,000. Assume a 50% tax rate and depreciation on straight line basis. Compute the project's accounting rate of return. We have to find out the ARR. So first thing, solution, for finding out the solution, first thing is compute, computation of net earnings. All right. So this is the year one, two, three, four, and five. Now your earnings before depreciation, interest and taxes, E B D I T. All right. Now there is no interest here, so ignore that. So E B D T or E B D I T. 10,000, 12, 14, 16, and 20,000 minus depreciation. Now, we are going to calculate depreciation on straight line basis. Yeah, now, there are basically two methods for calculating depreciation. One is the straight line method and the other one is the written down value method. Now let's calculate depreciation. Working notes. Depreciation is equal to the cost of the project minus any scrap value. Is there any scrap value or salvage value in this problem? No. So, 0 divided by the life of the project. Now, the life of the project is 5 years. So, 40,000 divided by, divided by 5 years is 8,000. So, there you have it. Depreciation is 8,000. Now, in case you get a problem where the, you know, the the method for depreciating is not mentioned. If it is not mentioned whether it's straight line or written down value, then you always assume it to be on straight line basis. So deduct 8,000. Always remember when the, when the figures are in bracket, it means they are being deducted. It's a negative value. All right. So this is your earnings before tax, EBT. All right. 
so this will be 2000 4000 14 minus 8 is 6000 16 minus 8 is 8000 and 20 minus 8 is 12000 from here deduct tax your tax rate is 50 percent so what is 50 percent of one of 2000 is 1000 this will be 2000 3000 4000 and 6000 so finally your net earnings all right or your your profit is 1000 2000 minus 1000 is 1000 4000 minus 2 is 2000 6 minus 3 3000 4000 and 6000 all right so there we have it we have a net earnings now what is the next step next step is ARR accounting rate of return by the way it is also known as return on capital employed all right ARR average rate of return is also known as return on capital employed so here you show the average net earnings remember under ARR we are dealing with accounting profits and not cash flows average net earnings divided by average investment or average capital expenditure all right what is the average net earnings now the average net earnings is 1000 plus 2000 plus 3000 plus 4000 plus 6000 okay divided by 5 okay by the way this is 100 okay and your average investment what is your average investment now here nothing is mentioned about scrap value or salvage value so basically your average investment will be 40000 the initial cost of the project divided by 2 now if the scrap value is given then you have to deduct scrap scrap value and all that so So 1000 plus 2000 plus 3000 plus 4000 plus 6000 divided by 5 is 3200 into 100. Okay, so 40,000 divided by 2 is 20,000. So, so 3200 into 100 divided by 20,000 equal to 16 percent so there you have it the answer ARR is 16 percent